Using innovative surgical robots enhances the surgeon's performance in spinal surgery by increasing placement accuracy and reducing the neurologic risk. We spoke with Dr. Isidore Lieberman, who explains the advantages of using this robotic surgical guidance system. The procedure itself is a spinal fusion where we are either realigning a spine that's deformed with a scoliosis or a bend or some degenerative changes and we're using rods and screws to facilitate the fusion, to hold the spine in place while the bone graft and the bone knits together. So the technology, the robotic assistance, helps us place those screws and the implants in a more efficient and precise manner. We have a preoperative investigation, typically a CT scan, and on that CT scan on a computer terminal, and it's my laptop, I sit there and I plan out the operation step by step. I take into account the anatomy. I take into account the number of levels we're operating on, the size of the screws, the length of the rods, the amount of spinal deformity, the areas where there are good bone, where there's bad bone. And I place the screws in the spine on that virtual model on my laptop and we plan that out. I then take that preoperative plan to the operating room and in the operating room we have the computer, we have the robotic device, we have the patient and we have me. And I plug that plan into the computer and the computer facilitates the plan. We do the exposure, we find out where we are, we do our registration so we've got a frame that's attached to one or two points on the spine. We take our two x-rays and from those two x-rays we merge the CT scan with my pre-op plan with where the patient's lying face down in the operating room. Once we've got the three-dimensional coordinates, we mount the robot onto the frame and dispatch that robot to each one of the stations to place the implant. The important thing to remember is the robot isn't doing the surgery. The robot's facilitating the surgery. The surgeon is still actually doing the operation, but the robot is helping me be more efficient and more precise according to the anatomy that's laid in front of me. Dr. Lieberman discusses the rehabilitation of his patients after this procedure. The rehab is actually much better with this type of technology because with the preoperative plan, with the least invasive exposure, with being targeted with what I'm doing, the patients recover much quicker. Less tissue damage, easier rehab, easier recovery. Dr. Lieberman goes on to tell us about his patients. The real gratification for me comes three months and six months down the road when I see a 14 or 15 year old girl who had a scoliosis and a curved back who comes back to clinic with a smile on her face and she's an inch and a half taller, doesn't have a hump on her back anymore and she's happy as can be. Or the 65 year old patient who could barely get from the bedroom to the bathroom because of spinal stenosis or narrowing of the canal and we make more room for the nerves so the signal can get from the brain to the toes and they're happy, they're walking, they're shopping, they're taking their dogs out. That's really the, the gratification is three to six months down the road when you, you see the final outcome. 